Back in 97, I was struggling with uh, sleeping, with getting up a lot and going to the bathroom, and I was quite young then compared to now. Um, thought that that was unusual. Um, my wife's a respiratory nurse, and she noticed the problems that I was having breathing at night and the fact that I, my snoring kept her awake uh, a lot. I was always being tapped to roll over on my side and, and uh, she called one of her pulmonologist friends. It was ordered a, they ordered me a, a sleep study at Methodist Medical Center. Went through the sleep study and it was found that I had uh, moderate sleep apnea. I learned a lot about sleep apnea before I let them put me on a machine and when I found out that sleep apnea not only affects the quality of your life but can affect the longevity of your life, it was a no-brainer that I needed to have a CPAP machine. I had stopped using my CPAP machine about two years ago, uh, just got tired of fighting it. It was always uncomfortable but it was necessary. Um, after I stopped using it, uh, I didn't feel too bad but it wasn't too much longer and the symptoms started coming back where I was exhausted in the morning. Halfway through the day, I'd need some kind of energy drink or something just to keep myself going. I was suffering. I, I truly was suffering. I don't have any choice but to be ready to go at all times. It was, it's not an option for me to be drained and it's not an option for me to um, have downtime at work. You know, I had to push through, I would have to push through the day. Then when I needed to have the energy when I got home, you know, I didn't feel like doing anything. Last year in uh, 2010, uh, I was told about what Dr. Willie was doing with the oral appliances and within two weeks from the date I was in, I, I had the appliance in hand. Immediately after I got the appliance, my snoring, my snoring stopped. Even before I started making all the adjustments to fit me. Uh, the appliance took about two days to get used to. Probably the worst thing about wearing it for the first week was my teeth were sore in the morning. Um, but the soreness went away because your 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 mouth gets adjusted to your mouth adjusts to and so do your teeth to having the appliance and it each one's made to fit your mouth so it made a huge difference you know having something I've seen advertisements on TV for ten bucks where you can buy a mouthpiece well it's no different than having a mouth guard you can buy at a buy for playing football or basketball and it, I don't see it doing you any good this appliance is uh, it was odd at first because it's you know something foreign to your mouth but now it's you know second nature I pop it in my mouth in the, at night for right before I go to sleep in the morning I clean it with my toothbrush just as I'm brushing my teeth put it back in its case and it's ready for me the next it's ready for me when I go to bed at night within two weeks after having it I woke up feeling that refreshed feeling again like I got a full night's sleep which I was getting a full night's sleep I've had the appliance since uh, December of 2010 and I haven't gotten up once in the middle of the night. My wife's no longer tapping me on the shoulder. She's getting quality sleep. I'm getting quality sleep. Everybody's much happier and healthier just because of the addition of the appliance. As we get older, and even when we're, even when we're in our 20s and 30s, but as we get older, you know, we think that feeling, feeling run down at, at towards the end of the day or in the middle of the day is part of the aging process. While part of that might be true, it's not 100% true. I'm 44 years old and I feel, I honestly feel like I'm in my 30s again by, by being able to get restful sleep.